Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first installment of RP Legends. Now today we're going to start off with something easy which is the basics of roleplaying, what roleplay is and what sort of formats they have. Let's get into it. Now there are several varieties of RPGs that also exist in electronic media such as multiplayer text based MUDs, uh, private chat rooms on things such as AOL or D20. Man I love D20 guys, D20! D20 is good. And of course, the multi multiplayer online RPG games, MMORPGs that are currently out right now. Ashes of Creation and Chronicles of Valaria. I'm talking about you guys. Oh man, I can't wait for that. That's going to be covered in another segment. But man, those are the games. If you're, if you're looking for any kind of role play in a MMORPG, those are the two games you guys have got to get a hold of. I, I can't even stress that enough. But uh, <laughs> I'm getting off track. Let's, let's continue on. Tabletop, also known as the pen and paper of the role-playing format. RPGs are conducted to discussions in a small social gathering. The GM describes the game world and its inhabitants, while other players describe the intended actions of their characters, and the GM describes the outcome. Now, this is usually determined based on the stats of the individual character versus the difficulty, plus whatever uh, dice rolls that you may or may not have in the game, uh, such as Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons was actually one of the uh, first commercially available RPGs in the game. Um, it was inspired by fantasy literature and the wargaming hobby that was published in 1974. Now, this format is often simply referred to as role-playing game just to distinguish the uh, form of RPGs from the other formats. Let's move on to the next category. Live Action Roleplay. A LARP is played more like improvised theater. Participants act out their characters' actions instead of describing them, and the real environment is used to represent the imagery settings of the game world. Players are often costumed as their characters and use appropriate props, and their venue may be decorated to resemble the fictional setting. Some live-action role-playing games use rock-paper-scissors or <laughs> comparison attributes to, you know, resolve conflict symbolically, while other LARPs use physical combat simulating such as airsoft guns or foam weapons, guys. Now that is Dagger here and uh what is it dagger here uh amped guard things like that Ugh, great games all um larps vary in size from a handful of players to several thousands believe it or not guys and in a duration from a couple of hours to several days because the number of players in a larp is usually larger than a tabletop role-playing game and the players may be interacting in separate physical spaces there are typically less of an emphasis on lightly maintaining a narrative or directly entertaining the players in game sessions basically what i'm trying to say is that sometimes people are just going to dress up the part they'll wear the larp swords they'll engage in combat but there won't be a lot of role play uh aspects there um, and typically, if there's going to be any roleplay, it won't be participating uh, during the actual combat scenes. It would be more or less um, after or in between, such as, you know, the breaks. You, you know, you go somewhere on a camping retreat for the weekend. Um, there's a lot of combat, a lot of, in, you know, fighting for like the first eight to ten hours. And then after that, everybody cools down. They go back to their camp. Um, and at that point, that's really where the roleplay is going to take place if anything was to go down there. Moving on. Now, the real difference between single player and multiplayer uh, role playing games really is just the fact that in single player, you can't really role play. Um, you're basically acting out whatever mechanics, um, such as, you know, let's just say you wanted to play Nier or uh, any other PS4 game, any other console based electronic game. You're not really able to role play, you're really just interacting with the game and its environment based on the prerequisite settings uh, that the game allows. Um, you really don't have a say in what goes on. Maybe some games like Mass Effect will give you multiple options in which you can, uh, you know, play your character as best that the game allows you to. But it's really not roleplay in the truest sense. It's just really one of those pick and choose scenario games. So I'm going to exclude single player um, just from this format because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Now with multiplayer, multiplayer is a little bit different. Um, Online text role-playing games, that's a lot of uh, multiplayer action there. Um, it involves many players using some type of text-based interface and internet connection to play an RPG. You know, games played in real-life time, which will include mud, mushes, and the like. Um, like I said before, AOL roleplay was always good. D20, my, you know, personal new favorite now because, you know, things have gotten hard um, with the AOL chat rooms. I'm not sure what's going on in there anymore. But um, if, you're ever, if you're ever looking to go into the, you know, arts and entertainment, um, 
Um, is a good place to look up uh, self-made role-playing locations. Uh, massive multiplayer online role-playing games and MMORPGs combine a large-scale social interaction and persistent worlds uh, with a lot of graphic interfaces. You know, most MMORPGs do not actively promote in-character role-playing. Um, you know, however, you can use the game's communication functions for role-playing, and maybe they'll have some emotes, things like that. Uh, there's a few games that sort of allow you to role-play to some extent, especially if you can get a few mods in there you know age of conan that's uh one good aspect of the game um i i play a lot of age of conan and um i'm on a server not a i, wouldn't, I don't know if it's called a dedicated server it's more of a moderated server and uh we got a lot of good um mods in there you know like immersive and the interaction ones things like that it's, it's really it's really fun and that wraps it up for today's first episode of RP Legends. If you like the uh, content, be sure to subscribe. Hit that little like bell so you can be notified of any future videos that we're going to release. And if you have any comments, uh, you know, list them below just to see if you uh, want us to cover anything particular involving roleplay or roleplaying games or the like. And of course, uh, if you want to support us financially, be sure to visit our Patreon or the other link below for Game Chase. It's where we play uh, video games and discuss video game activity there. And uh, we'll see you in next time on Game Chase. I'll let you guys know in the future uh, when we're going to get a, uh, a schedule just to let you all know when these videos are going to be available. I think I'm going to hit it maybe around Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll keep you guys informed when we come out with a, uh, a working schedule for these episodes. Anyhow, thank you all for attending, and I'll see you soon. Peace.